Hello, the gentleman gamer here, and today I'm playing Eve Online, and I'm in, middle, I'm in the middle of an exploration run that has taken me back into the Great Wildlands region, um, uh, which is a very rich space I love to explore, <laughs> for reasons we'll get in later. Um, but the run itself has not been too lucrative. Uh, as we look here in the, in the loot box here, I have about just below 40 million. Now, if, if well, if maybe if, if I jumped into Null Sec and explored for about an hour or so and got this, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, but after I show you the, the sheer amount of area I covered in this run, uh, you'll probably agree that I probably pretty dry run so far. So let's take a look at the map real quick. Once it loads up, oh, that's down here. As you can see here, uh, this is where I started. I started um, through a wormhole connection uh, to Nullsec. It took me into uh, Mapas and the Kalevala Expanse. Now, these two regions are part uh, of a bigger area called the Drone Regions. Um, and if you ever explored there, um, you, I think you only find data sites. I've only found data sites there. And you get, you get like drone related stuff like, um, uh, for example, uh, you know, augmented alkalite BPCs. You can build them, and they, they do sell for a little way over, <laughs> way more than a regular uh, alkalite would. Um, and um, I think you, I think the sites itself are pretty weird as well. Um, I think if you mess up a hack or something, sometimes an NPC will, like NPC rat, will try to attack you. Um, they're not like really strong rats or anything. Um, but it still happens, <laughs> and if you're using a uh, a Tech Two um, uh, covert ops frigate, uh, you usually don't have defenses on you. <laughs> uh, now in this frigate, I'm using a um, Helios, uh, so they have like uh, like a like a five uh, meters cubed uh, drone bay. So I have like one alkalite in there, uh, but for most people, they wouldn't have any weapons at all. So I'm not sure how they run them. Um, I'm assuming an uh, uh, Steros maybe. Uh, but I really didn't feel like, um, uh, for this run, I didn't feel like really uh, you know, exploring the drone lands too much. So I decided to just find more regular space for like relic sites as well. So I moved up here uh, through Calavala Expanse into the, the Veil vale, vale of a Silent, and, uh, which was cool. And I started exploring that. Uh, I went to the Geminate. And when I, went, when I um, got into Geminate, I realized uh, that Geminate has a, a connection to the Great Wildlands. Uh, through Athiok, you're at Athiok. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, but then you go into there, and I've been exploring here for a little bit. A uh, few systems here. I think at some point I accidentally went to Scalding Pass, which I didn't mean to do. <laughs> uh, but I've been exploring here for a little bit, and um, it, the, the main reason I like exploring the Great Wildlands um, because this re this region of space has a very unique feature that other areas of known space don't have. Um, and it, it's it pretty much it stems from the NPCs who own it because it is NPC Nullsec. Um, the, the NPC faction that owns it is called the Thucker Tribe, and the Thucker Tribe are known for being very nomadic. Um, like they, they pretty much live out of their ships for the most part, and it re, it's reflected in the Great Wildlands um, because out of 101 systems. Um, only three systems have stations, and those sta systems have uh, four stations altogether. So, for the vast amount of the region, you don't find any stations. You can't dock anywhere. Um, so, if you wanted to live in the Great Wildlands, you needed to live out of a pass before, which restricts a lot of uh, how many people can live in the Great Wildlands um, and what you can do in the Great Wildlands, in, uh, effectively, anyway. Um, so it did give this area of space a very unique feel. Uh, kind of feels like the Great Plains. Kind of just keeps going and going because you don't have to worry about um, you know other players who live in the space, you know, looking, you know, chasing you or trying to kill you. It just keeps going. It's just like, oh, no, this, this one, no people in it. No, there's no people in it. You know. Um, but I was curious now, when I got into Gemini. I was curious if uh, the Citadel expansion have has changed to Great Wildlands um, because before you had to live out of a pass which restricts the amount of people and whatnot but now with Citadels you can pretty much just drop stations anywhere you want um, so I, actually, actually, um, I was actually looking uh, for Citadels and if you don't know um, unless you have docking rights to the Citadel in the system 
it does not come up on the overview. You have to use your sensor overlay to look for them. So every time I go into a system, I would zoom out, look around, and look for this blue area here. And this is the one I found, Lucid Dreaming Manufacturing Center. I believe it's an Astro House. I think so. I have the bookmarks here. Let's warp to it real quick. And from uh, my uh, my D scanning here, it looks like a, a small mining operation. It's a procure, a procure on scan. I also noticed uh, about three of three skiffs last time too. It looks like a small mining operation. Um, and if you if you rig an Astro House properly, it can get pretty close to the refine of a Mimnatar station in Nullsec. Um, so obviously not a bad a choice, not a bad choice for uh, a small mining operation in this area of space. But through all these systems I've been in, I've only found this one. Um, it doesn't mean it's not happening. It's still like 90, <laughs> 90 some systems um, in. I have not checked yet. You know, um, what I'm really looking for is for Fortizars um, because Fortizars can have um, uh, uh, market hubs in them where you can put uh, buy and sell orders. And if you have that, if you start building markets in this region then I think it can become really lived in compared to before. And maybe it's already happening. I haven't checked uh, the connections that go into, uh, that go next to Molden Heath here. I haven't checked those areas yet. I, I roughly will check. The closer I get to known space, you might have a better chance of seeing one. Um, but um, but if, this is, if, if it's possible, which is a big if, because I'm not sure about the logistics of uh, moving a Ford Desire out here, and jump freighting things in and out from known space into Jeter or something. But if it does happen, that means this area of space will change um, from a, uh, a very nomadic uh, type area of space to just another, um, just another urbanized, we'll say, uh, part of New Eden. Um, when I first thought about this, I'm like that, that made me made pretty pretty sad. I'm like, oh man, it sucks. You know, this very unique part, uh, area of space, very unique feel to the space, and it's gonna be gone. You know, just just gone, right? And um, which part? If you're part of a sandbox, with they add new tools to the sandbox, stuff like this could happen. And I'm like, oh man, that sucks. But and then I thought about it for another second. I'm like, well, even if that does happen, even if it does become. Um, the not so wild lands, we'll say, um, of New Eden, um, it will still be pretty unique, at least for the time being, anyway, because because the Great Wildlands has so many systems without stations in it. And if I, if I remember properly from the map, the station systems are actually pretty close together. Um, and because they have so many systems without stations in it, uh, and if and if it's viable, people start moving in with Fortis, are start building markets and start supporting people uh, within the Great Wildlands, it would be the, f the, the first area of space, uh, in known space, that has fully destructible stations in it. And that, that actually is pretty unique right now because even in NullSec currently, they're still able to use the old stations, which are not, dest not destroyable. Um, so it would be interesting to see the Great Wildlands um, uh, be like a foreshadowing of what uh, the other parts of Nelsic might look like in the coming year or so. And uh, that may feel a little bit better. <laughs> may feel a little bit better um, about the idea of the, of the Great Wildlands changing so drastically. Well, possibly changing so drastically. Um, but uh, I don't know. Uh, may maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Uh, but it is a sandbox, and the sandbox will change with tools added to it. So it's something you have to deal with a game like Eve is that uh, when the when they add different things to it and other things will happen they didn't think of. Um, like something like this, maybe they didn't think that they could happen to a, a unique area of the game. But uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments section. Uh, do you think that it should be preserved, Great Wildland? Like an exception be made for this space? Um, do you think uh, that uh, that it that well, think if it's possible at all? Maybe you know more in logistics than I do, which wouldn't be too hard. Um, and you know if, it, if it's possible or not, if it's or, or if it's already happening, um, which I haven't explored yet. Um, the other areas of Great Wildlands yet. Um, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, but that is the video, guys. Thanks for watching. 
If you like the video, of course, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, subscribe and fly safe and fly brave.